The Monster Truck, a car specially built with very large wheels, a suspension with a large stroke, and a very powerful engine. These cars are created to participate in special competitions like Monster Jam, off-road racing, jumping over obstacles, and various acrobatic numbers. Today, we will show you the 10 most incredible monster trucks in the world. Avenger In 1997, Avenger was created with a hot rod in mind and an S10 body. There was only one person capable of handling its violent nature, Jim Kohler. The body was updated in 2002 to become a 57 Bel Air. As part of Team Scream, Jim and Avenger have been to every Monster Jam World Final. Avenger has earned two Monster Jam World Finals Freestyle Championships, 2003-2011. In 2017, the team celebrated its 20th anniversary by abandoning the 57 Chevy look to go with a Chevy pickup body. The truck started life as an S10, and Team Scream figured this would be an appropriate tribute. El Toro Loco El Toro Loco is one raging bull who can smell the fear of its competitors. In 2001, the custom-built bull was introduced to a crowd in Lafayette, Louisiana, and a few years later shared the freestyle championship title at the 2004 Monster Jam World Finals. One of the most recognizable Monster Jam trucks in the sport, the crazy bull can be counted on to give its all in the ring. In 2013, El Toro Loco debuted two new looks. A yellow and black El Toro Loco Monster Jam truck joined the ever-popular, already existing orange truck. Gas Monkey Garage Based on the garage made famous in Discovery Channel's hit television show, Fast and Loud, the exciting new Gas Monkey Garage Monster Jam truck was introduced in 2016. The truck's body was designed by Gas Monkey Garage owner Richard Rowlings himself. Rowlings has created a one-of-a-kind 70s muscle car body for the Gas Monkey Garage Monster Jam truck, and the custom artwork reflects the spirit of the garage. A team of Monster Jam engineers and technicians designed and built the chassis. Grave Digger Dennis Anderson came up with the concept for Grave Digger back in 1981. Originally built out of an old 1957 Chevy panel wagon and parts that he scrounged from junkyards, the Grave Digger of today has grown by leaps and bounds. Grave Digger is one of the most decorated Monster Jam trucks in the world, and Anderson has won four Monster Jam World Finals Championships, capturing the racing title in 2004 and 2006 and the freestyle title in 2010 and 2000. Lucas Oil Crusader Step back into medieval times with the Lucas Oil Crusader. Crusader made its Monster Jam debut at Reliance Stadium in Houston on January 8, 2011. Armed with a sword-bearing knight on its side, Crusader is prepared for battle, and its sturdy SUV body is ready to fight. But don't think this is just some white knight out to save the princess. The Crusader is looking to defeat its foes and conquer Monster Jam once and for all. Veteran Monster Jam driver Lindsey Wink pilots the medieval wrecking machine. Oh, no. 
Max D. Perhaps the most striking Monster Jam truck on the Monster Jam circuit, the body of Max DSM is officially classified as a futuristic SUV. Featuring an orange and silver paint job coupled with a low-to-the-ground aerodynamic body style, it's well known that Max D is possibly the fastest machine in the sport. In fact, driver Tom Means has been crowned Monster Jam World Racing Champion no less than six times, the most recent at the 2012 Monster Jam World Finals. Max D received a makeover for the 2013 season to help celebrate a decade of destruction with two all-new designs. Monster Energy Monster Energy entered the Monster Jam world in 2012 as a major team sponsor when Monster Energy debuted in Birmingham, Alabama. Monster Energy made an immediate impact on the circuit, winning its first major stadium freestyle competition on January 14, 2012 at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, and then winning the racing trophy in the same building the following day. Monster Energy is always a contender in both racing and freestyle. Overkill Evolution The creators of Overkill Evolution believe their new machine represents the natural progression of Monster Jam truck technology. To take their new concept into the future, they selected young talent Mike Vaders too to drive the new Overkill Evolution in Monster Jam, and immediately a huge impact was made as the second generation driver powered Overkill Evolution to the 2014 Young Guns Shootout SM Championship and claimed the Monster Jam Rookie of the Year award. Raminator Owned by brothers Mark and Tim Hall, Raminator has quickly made a name for itself. With multiple racing wins under their belt and the help of crew chief and brother, Tim Hall, Mark and Raminator are climbing their way to the top of Monster Jam. They are nearly unstoppable, being stacked with a 5.65 C1 supercharged Hemi engine and over 2,000 horsepower. In 2001, Mark's outstanding racing skills and Raminator caught the eye of their now official sponsor, Dodge. Son of a Digger Son of a Digger was unveiled to much fanfare at the 2011 Monster Jam World Finals as the next generation of the Grave Digger family. As Ryan Anderson roared into Monster Jam and won Rookie of the Year honors driving Monster Mutt, the plan was already in the works for Ryan to get behind the wheel of a Monster Jam truck built to extend the Grave Digger legacy. Son of a Digger became a reality with its attention-grabbing purple murals adorning the 1950 Willie's body style. Since its debut, Son of a Digger has made its mark with a series of high-profile wins, especially in freestyle competitions at the largest stadiums and arenas. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the monster trucks you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.